good afternoon. Um, actually, the change was mentioned before I came here, and uh, there is some overlap in the topic. So I'll be probably mentioning the change from um, the personal and self-transformation perspective, and uh, we'll be talking about this aspect of the personal transformation of change. I'm a strong believer of changes, both personally and professionally, and I think change is um, something that is causing uh, paramount, different, paramount um, changes in the lives of people's communities and the government. If uh, skillfully managed, change can affect your lives in a matter that uh, you accept the challenges as the opportunities. Uh, for several years, um, I have been conducting CEO survey in Azerbaijan among the key executives. Uh, and that was a part of the global survey that is presented on the World Economic Forum in Dallas. And um, uh, the interesting finding that we have been observing from year to year is that every single CEO mentioned that, uh, and by the way, that was a time when the pandemic uh, took place and uh, we were all, um, um, we were all um, in a, a disruptive position. We did not know um, the, what is the future of the workforce and what will happen in the future. And um, almost every single CEO that we had a conversation with and uh, which I personally visited and talked with mentioned that um, even despite of uh, very difficult and turbulent times, they accepted all the challenges and the opportunities for, for, the, for the next move. Uh, it was a crisis times, it was um, uh, uh, disruptions in, uh, in everything, in the way we work, in the budgets and everything, but um, that is something that is differentiating the true leaders from, um, fr from just people who execute, is that leaders are accepting the challenges and difficulties as the opportunities and uh, as the alarm and wake up call for the future. Um, I've been living through the personal transformation as well for many years. Um, uh, if uh, to um, uh, dive back from uh, the university uh, years, it was um, absolutely different times, different story, and uh, there was a little girl uh, who was having a different dream at a different time. But uh, uh, through a number of transformations and after the changes that happened in my life, um, uh, they uh, made me who I am today and um, who is standing in front of you today because um, probably some of the changes happened organically and some of the changes were caused, in, that were caused uh, by myself either proactively or uh, in some situations reactively, but um, the most important is how you address these changes. Um, you either adapt uh, um, and um, uh, evolve, or um, you just um, you, you you just as a, as our, as our CEOs say, you evolve or you die. Yeah. So this is an important topic. Um, uh, to go back to the university years, as uh, and I actually when I was uh, getting uh, ready for today's talk, um, I watched several um, TEDxes uh, by by other peers and. Uh, how uh, they made it. So uh, what is important is not just to tell the personal story, but to tell the wisdom that uh, we got from, from the stories because um, we're not always the superstars. Yeah, I'm telling it uh, very often in a um, number of uh, discussions because um, yeah, we were not superheroes, not superstars. Yeah, we have failures, we have mistakes, but people tend to, um, uh, to, tend to talk about success stories only most of the times. Uh, for, for some reasons, yeah, but um, I hate telling only success stories. Usually, uh, I always um, tell about the failures and mistakes and the wisdom we got from, uh, from, from the failures, actually, um, that uh, makes us who we are. Uh, so the university years, uh, as, as we all had, we had some dreams, we had some opportunities, um, but um, you know, what is most important is to nev never give, give up, yeah? Uh, I thought uh, back to at that times uh, when we were applying for the universities, uh, it was a completely different time from now. Yeah, we know private sector was not as it is now. There were no so many opportunities as, as you have now. Uh, people studied abroad, um, like randomly, so, some people from our group um, went abroad, applied to universities. 
Um, and um, I, was, um, uh, I, I was very passionate about working, yeah? And I think the first mistake that I made back then is um, that I didn't go with my fellow, um, f with my fellow friends, with, with my friends uh, to, to US or to Canada or to where, um, some very far places. Uh, because I didn't realize that afterwards I may not have the opportunity to do so. Of course, now I'm planning some like online or distant learning or something, but with three kids and um, teenagers and uh, in a difficult age, it's, uh, I can see Nigar is reflecting on what I'm saying because, and by the way, um, I'm a mom of three kids and uh, this is the first time I'm doing the public speech among uh, the students, among that peer group, yeah? And I'm even more excited, which is the most interesting thing, I'm more excited than when I do it with the CEOs or, or other group of people, because you are the challenges. You are the people who are, uh, and uh, I have those at home who are challenging, who are asking questions, difficult, tough questions. It's, it's another era, it's another, um, another story, it's, uh, it's another approach, and, uh, and it's so exciting. Um, so back to, um, yeah, that years, and now, uh, uh, back then I had an opportunity, but I didn't use it, yeah, I think I was too passionate about starting job and practicing and uh, um, yes, starting career. Uh, there are some, of course, um, good and positive things about it, because I started it pr uh, pretty early, but um, I had a difficult boss at the time, and um, um, I worked for, for um, the international company for, for some time. It was the oil and gas company back then. But uh, at some period of time, I decided that I'm not happy enough uh, at this job and I need to move on and I need to, to start something, um, something else, yeah? And um, at that time, I um, remembered uh, a case that happened to me uh, when I was younger. I applied to another organization and uh, my potential boss said, you are too young and you don't have experience. So I don't have uh, that many people in my team to hire you uh, and to, to, to give you an opportunity to learn. Yeah, that was the first um, like disappointment for me, but also the awake call. So uh, I thought, okay, uh, how much time do you need? He said, well, go and find another job and come in two years. But that was my dream job at that time. And um, I went back um, uh, to the tough boss, uh, to, to a very difficult person. And uh, I worked for some time, gained some experience. And then in, in some time, when it was exactly two years, um, two years passed, and I applied to the same person again and said, remember me, hi, I'm the, the little girl that came to you some time ago and you said that I, I'm not experienced enough, I'm, not, I'm young enough, I, I'm young and not experienced enough to, to, to come um, uh, to, to work for you. Uh, he said, wow, um, I'm very surprised by your um, like passion to work and to join the organization. I don't have a position at the moment, but I have a friend who is looking for someone um, to join the organization and that was the American Chamber of Commerce. That was my dream job, by the way, so I was hired. Uh, and that is the first uh, time I started um, PR and communications. Uh, I was very passionate, I was very excited about the job and I loved it and uh, there were lots of events and that was the times when, as Nigar mentioned, the PR and communication era uh, was just at the start in Azerbaijan and um, no one knew exactly what it is. Uh, but everyone was getting excited, everyone was w wanted to work for PR and communications to learn and to, to do something which is like, you know, like savvy and um, um, glam and uh, everyone thought like the perception on PR was like drinking coffee and meeting people and nothing else, yeah? But it's a tough job, yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm um, actually forming a new team here in uh, the Azerbaijan Airways at the moment and it's, uh, a very tough job and I'm telling it to every single person who is coming to the interview and um, it's, uh, we work day at night. Yeah, today we have Black Friday, by the way, get your chance to get your tickets at the time because we are running a big campaign and um, the marketing and PR teams are all the way through it, yeah, through the day and night and uh, responding to people requests and doing all the visuals, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to work hard if you want to achieve some, um, some things, yeah. Uh, work smart, but to work hard at the same time. Um, so uh, Amcham uh, is uh, a big part of my life. It took um, 
it's, it, it's something special for me and um, I learned there a lot. I got my first promotion there and second promotion and then um, at some time when I realized that it's um, 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 maybe not enough, um, uh, in 2010 I decided to, um, to open a marketing and advertising agency um, for, um, to, to work with uh, organizations who need some advertising campaign and so on. Uh, again, that was a bold decision because I didn't have any idea on um, what is it, um, what is the BCL and one-to-one -one communications, but uh, for, uh, for some reason uh, we got the first contract by, um, uh, by an international company, FMCG company, um, and uh, we were honored to, um, to, to, um, uh, to run a campaign for an international brand, uh, one to, uh, for, for the first time and then for the second time. And uh, then when it worked, um, we uh, got the first contract from another international organization uh, for exclusive partnership. So that took a big part of, um, um, of um, some professional career development. Um, in, the, in that company, we were running large projects. Yeah, I'm coming back to failures and to some mistakes because it was uh, very, um, we were passionate and excited about large products, uh, projects and uh, big, uh, like um, big brands. Uh, we did not spend enough time and that's uh, the advice for, uh, for future maybe entrepreneurs. Uh, if you decide to run your own business or startup, we did not take our time to diversify um, to diversify our portfolio with the smaller projects, with the smaller wins, to, um, to get it like more diversified and to do smaller services, yeah? Um, so this is the first mistake because when uh, the contract ended and uh, there was no demand to that large, big project, um, it was difficult to, um, to make this business viable. Um, by that time, I got an offer uh, from um, PricewaterhouseCoopers, international consulting firm, um, that uh, hired me, and that was another dream job. That was very um, interesting. Um, um, that was very interesting, um, actually, offer because um, completely different story, completely different uh, scope of responsibilities. It was marketing, communications, and business development as well. Uh, some uh, um, duties on Azerbaijan, of course, the main of the, um, the majority of the function duties were for, were for Azerbaijan, but also for, um, for the region that was uh, countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and other countries. Um, and that was uh, very interesting. Um, but mm, 10 years, um, mm, when I come reflecting back now, I think that um, working for um, the firm for 10 years is too long. Um, the new generation usually um, prefers not to stay that long for the companies, but to learn new things, yeah? To learn new um, uh, set, of, um, set of capabilities, new, um, getting new profession and uh, uh, Focus is important, but also I think um, the dynamics is also important. So um, uh, uh, coming back to uh, the failure or mistake that I'm, I think I've um, um, made that back that time uh, is that I stayed too long uh, at the comfort zone, yeah? Um, that, that was a true comfort zone when uh, my kids were um, young and uh, it was important for me to stay in that comfort zone. But at some uh, point, I realized that it's um, too much comfort for me and I need to move on. Uh, and I was reflecting this message all the time and I was telling it to everyone that, well, I'm, this job is too boring for me, I've overgrown, I need to try something else, I need to try something else. Uh, and also a very important part of transformation and it's uh, unfortunately a very, um, um, it's, a, it's a difficult uh, story for me now when I reflect back uh, to what happened this year. Uh, I sent these messages to universe and uh, realized that these messages were heard, yeah? Um, at some point I got an offer um, from the Azerbaijan Air Airlines, uh, Azal, uh, like six, seven, seven months ago, and uh, I started thinking about this opportunity. Uh, but that was a completely different um, environment, a completely different culture, completely different area, industry. Uh, so I did not uh, accept, so we need to close, yeah?
Uh, I did not accept it at once because I was not sure that I'm the one they need. Um, uh, when ha what happened? Um, I lost a very um, dear person in the family. It was the nanny of my three kids. Unfortunately, she was um, she died in a car accident, and that um, that was a big loss for my family. Yeah, because uh, bec um, apart from the moral part of the story, because it was a very dear person to us, and we could not rescue her. Um, my kids be became just uh, without nanny, and I need to handle this situation somehow. Um, well, uh, I accepted the offer by the Azerbaijan Airlines. It's uh, two plus months that I am here. It's an um, incredible job, but extremely tough and difficult job. Yeah, and we need to uh, we need to transform. We need to uh, build it from um, the function and the number of things from 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 where it was. Yeah. Uh, so what I want to say, yeah, I still uh, accepted this um, offer, despite of all the disruptions that happened in my life, uh, and that is uh, the start of the new transformation. So uh, the biggest advice is to to you guys is uh, being bold, uh, sharpen your focus, and if you want to do something, just do it. Yeah. Not no no not uh, don't get affected by any problems or troubles or any. Um, challenges, uh, take them and um, accept them as the opportunities for, for future. Thank you. Thank you. Microphone. 